Hey guys, Melissa Miller, aka Melissa Backwoods here, coming at you from my knife room at the moment, but today we are talking all about Blade Magazine Knife of the Year Award winners. Now, these happened at Blade Show Atlanta, which happens every June. It is the world's largest knife show. I will be timestamping each section of this video, so if there's a particular award or section you want to get to, you can just head to the description and click the timestamp. A quick note on Blade Show Atlanta, it, there's just nothing like it in the world. It has knife making classes, giveaways, demos. It's got just every company, anybody who is anyone in the knife making industry goes to Blade Show Atlanta. Now, I have the privilege of working for Blade Show and Blade Magazine, so I get to hold all the all the factory and custom award winners in person, and I get to I get to film them. So I'm going to be sharing that footage with you today, and you're going to get an up close and personal look at the factory award winners. There are over a thousand exhibitors at Blade Show, and not every one of those exhibitors enters their knives into the Knife of the Year um, awards. So when a knife wins in a category, it's not it's not chosen out of every single knife in Blade Show. It's it's literally chosen out of the knives that are actually submitted to the knife awards um, by the companies. Best accessory of the year was given to WorkSharp for their professional precision adjust sharpening. Now, this system features magnetic interchangeable plates with different grits, ceramic, leather. It has a digital reader for the angle adjuster. You just clamp your knife in, you use the digital reader to set it at your sharpening angle, and then you just use the back and forth motion of the plates to sharpen your blade. You can also turn your knife over to the other side without removing the hold from the chassis. It retails for around $300 and it accommodates knives of all different sizes. So best buy of the year went to Kershaw for their model, the Iridium. Now the Iridium features a Dura lock, which is basically the Kershaw's take on the crossbar lock. This knife retails for $99. It features D2 steel, a very smooth KVT ball bearing system, great anodized aluminum handles. And since this knife's release in early spring, it has been very hard to find in stock. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great example of just like a contemporary, cool, modern type EDC. This was one of those knives that when I held it and flipped it open, I was just like, whew, yeah, that, that feels good. Kitchen Knife, Factory Kitchen Knife of the Year went to the Prima by MKM, the Maniago Knife Makers, which is pretty crazy because this was their first production kitchen knife. Now, the blade steel is SPG2 or Super Gold 2, which is a high-grade blade steel created by Powder Metallurgy from the Japanese company Takefu. It was designed by Danish knife maker and designer Jens Anzo, who is also the founder of Giant Mouse Knives. It had fat carbon scales on the handle, making it not only comfortable to hold, but lightweight. I do not personally know much about kitchen knives, but when, when I held that one, I was just kind of like, yeah, I, I want this. Knife collaboration of the year went to Wee Knife and GTC Knives. This knife featured an integral frame with a very unique flip or tab deployment. It had that artistic and futuristic look that is known for from the Brazilian designer Gustavo of GTC. This knife is called Solid. Um, to my knowledge, it is not in production yet. This was just the prototype, so we're gonna have to wait to, to get our hands on it. Um, I remember holding Solid in person at Blade Show Texas and just being very impressed by it. Uh, the designer, uh, Gustavo from GTC Knives, he actually took home most innovative custom design for his knife titled Enigma. It was an entirely screwless and tooless design that could assemble and disassemble in, in 10 seconds. It was pretty, pretty wild. Investor Collector Knife of the Year went to the Russian company Shiro Gorov Knives for the Mini Quantum CD. Now, the judges felt that for the price, this knife had great investment value. There were just these intricate machining little details all over the knife that were really hard to capture on video, and the fit and finish were just top-notch on this sleek little blade. I found some of the photos on the maker's Instagram that kind of show up close some of the beauty shots of the cool little features. Next, we have manufacturing quality. This went to Spartan Blades Limited Edition Spartan Harzi Folder. This was an absolutely beautiful frame lock folding knife. It is from a USA company that is well known in the tactical community, Spartan Blades. And it's also designed by Bill Harze, who has worked oh, with a number of companies, uh, Gerber, CRKT, Chris Reeves Knives, uh, Lone Wolf Blades. 
uh, Fantoni, probably probably some more. Um, this is also just a, a truly a blade. Like I said, video just doesn't do it justice. And holding it holding it in your hand just offers a totally different kind of experience. But the way the light reflected off the colors and every component of this knife was just quite lovely to look at. Most innovative imported knife. Check this thing out. This is the Mazarin W Lock. Now, Mazarin is a company that was actually established in 1960, and they brought some real cool Italian craftsmanship to Blade Show this year. This blade was produced in collaboration with Sandra Knives. It features a tungsten blade. Uh, it's got metal and fat carbon composite. It is equipped with what is called the W Lock locking system, which I'm showing up close on the video here. It was, it was very effortless to slide this lock back and out to disengage it. Uh, definitely, I'm going to reach out to the company to try to get more information on this. Oh, man, so many cool, crazy new new locks coming out this year. I am every year surprised with all the new, all the new innovations that are popping up in the knife industry. Okay, most innovative American knife, the Buck 590 Paradigm. This knife retails for around $209. Now it has a rotating bolster lock that doubles as a safety. To open it, you just glide up the bolster, activate the flipper with a flick of a finger. Now the Buck Paradigm has actually been out for a little while now, but this is the first year that they entered it into the Blade Magazine Awards. So this is the first time it was being judged. It's also really cool to see you know an old school brand that has been around for what 120 years now to be coming up with new things trying uh, some different some different things so good job on that buck imported knife of the year went to rosecraft blades for their clinch river swayback model um, this one was designed by andy armstrong it's based on a traditional swayback slip joint pattern but it offers a fingal choil that is cut partly away from the blade and partly from the bolster. It features a half stop, and we see that uh, traditional Warncliffe blade style in D2 steel with a brushed satin finish. Uh, it's got these really pretty dyed bourbon bone covers, which were very attractive in person, and uh, the price, 47 bucks. Um, I'm sorry, they're currently sold out. Rosecraft Blades is actually a very new brand. They debuted as a brand last year at Blade Show, so it's cool to see them taking home an award. The American-made knife of the year goes to the Benchmade Narrows. Now, coming in at 0.28 inches thick, the titanium handle of the Narrows is the slimmest full-size frame Benchmade has ever built. The Narrows has a new take on the iconic Benchmade Axis Lock, eliminating steel liners and omega springs and subbing in a sleek new lock stud and torsion spring assembly. Now this one features an M390 drop point blade, hints of PVD coated sapphire blue hardware. It is a super stylish EDC blade and it's $580. So it's time to pick up that weekend shift if you want to get your hands on it. And the overall knife of the year award goes to the Giant Mouse GMX. Uh, manufactured by Riot Knives, uh, it's a really sleek and stylish blade. It's kind of a, it's a fusion of Scandinavian and Japanese design with what they say is a touch of Persian influence. Uh, titanium handle with a brass inlaid bolster and an S90V blade. Ball bearings with a frame lock mechanism. Opening this knife was so satisfying. It's funny when I was uh, filming this, you can actually hear me go, like when I when I flip it open for the first time. This is also one that you really have to hold it in person to fully appreciate it for what it is. One last little thing I wanted to know that I did think was really cool was that seven different countries were represented uh, out of 11 awards and that is pretty sweet. Uh, Blade Show has truly become like the Olympics of the of the knife world. Well, that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to see me do the same thing for the Custom Knives Awards, uh, please let me know. I have footage of the Custom Knives Awards as well. Drop a comment below. I do read and respond to comments as much as possible, so please let me know. Um, a lot of the award-winning footage is being put up on Blade Show and Blade Magazine. I will link those in the description. Thank you all so much and have a wonderful day.